Steve. Welcome to my shop. In my retirement, I manage a small retail model train store. And one of the things that I do is I, I take on some repair jobs every once in a while. I normally don't videotape them because they've got to get done. Videotaping takes a lot of extra time. So I, I usually don't video uh, any of my repair work. However, I have a job right now. It's an old Lionel locomotive. It's a steam engine and it has shoulder bolts on the linkage and for some reason or another whether the bolt was changed out or a spacer was changed out uh, one of the bolts is actually too tight on the linkage so every time you run it it unscrews it so I decided to make a new bolt with a wider shoulder so I could use the existing spacers that are in it the original bolts are made out of brass and they're nickel plated uh, because of the age of it I, I know it would be nickel uh, what I'm going to make it out of I have a piece of 303 stainless steel that I'm going to make it out of so here is my short video on build, making a shoulder bolt or screw for Lionel locomotive Turning this piece down to 0.285, which is the uh, maximum diameter of the quarter-inch hex that I have to put for the head on this uh, shoulder bolt. I'm at 296, so I just got to take about 11,000 off. Okay, I'm at 
287 at this point. I'm just going to take a spring pad and hit it with a pile. It's, it's actually, it'll be close enough anyway. The important dimension is going to be quarter inch across the flat, and I can adjust that in the milling machine. Okay, I'm at two, two eighty six, so that'll be just a bit. That's fine. I'm just going to cut this piece off with a hacksaw and put it in a uh, collet. So for the balance of the operations, I'm going to keep the piece mounted in the ER-16 collet. I have a straight shaft which will fit into, I'll be able to put that in the lathe chuck to do some more turning. And I'll also be able to put it into my uh, collet block. So I'm going to go set it up in the collet block now. Okay, this is actually a 12 millimeter arbor on this collet, uh, on this adapter. So. I've got 12 millimeter C5 collet. I'm going to mount it up in that. Tighten that up and get it ready to mill. And putting a eighth inch parallel in the bottom of the vise to bridge the gap. And then put my collet block in the vise. And we're going to line up the end with the edge of the vise. It's not a critical dimension, but I want when I mill the flats to create the hex, I want to uh, have it even. Okay, I touched off on the top of it, so I'm going to zero out my z-axis. And crank it down 18 thousandths.
So that leaves me with a piece of quarter inch hex stock. Quarter inch nut driver fits just fine. Now I can return the uh, adapter to the three jaw chuck and the lathe and finish the rest of the operations. The first diameter that I'm going to be cutting to is 0.187 which will create the, uh, the diameter for the shoulder. Okay, I'm at 202. I gotta go to 187. So that's 15 thousandths to go. Okay, I'm at 187. about two tenths. That's as close as I'm going to get it. Okay, my next diameter now is going to go down to uh, 0 0.089 which is the diameter for the 440 thread and I've got to leave at the shoulder at 0.187 wide so I'm going to take and mark that up now so I don't miss it. Use my Sharpie. I marked it up. I marked off my 187 thousandths. And now I'm just going to use the uh, tool bit to give me a witness mark all the way around. <laughs> change out my tool holder here this Sneak up on it now. No three, and I've got to go to point oh eighty nine. So that's fourteen thousands left.
0.090 that's pretty good I'm just going to hit it with a file See if we can run a die down it. My grandfather was a tool and die maker and I got his toolbox when he retired I, I uh, one of the things that I got out of it uh, he used to make these die holders and so this is actually a piece that my grandfather made which is kinda neat that I can use tools that he actually made So I'm going to attempt to uh, cut these threads with a die. I'm going to use a little bit of anchor lube on it. I found that that works really good on this uh, on the stainless steel. A little dab of anchor lube and cut some threads. Okay, now I'm going to turn the die over and use the use it backwards in order to uh, cut the threads up to the shoulder. Next step is to part it off and then I'll turn it around, put it in another collet, a smaller collet, so that I can uh, face off the head.
I'm going to put it in a collet and face it off. I'll put the collet in the nut. And I'll face it off. There it is. Let's see if I can get a close-up picture of the of the nut or the bolt, the shoulder bolt. So there's the finished screw. Now if you were paying attention when I was cutting the diameter for the threads, you may have picked up but I actually cut it to the wrong size. When I was uh, looking at my threading chart, I picked up the tap drill size instead of the major diameter of the thread. So I cut it, the first one very much undersized. So I ended up going back and making a second screw and turning it to the correct diameter and now I have a, a full thread form on it. This wraps up the video on making the shoulder bolt for the Lionel steam engine. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and all of my subscribers. I would encourage you to like my videos and please comment. I really enjoy the comments. It's one of the things that keeps me going and coming back to make more videos. And I try to respond to every one of them. This is probably going to be the last video that I make before Christmas. So I'd like to wish all my viewers out there a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And to my Jewish friends, a Happy Hanukkah.